G'day JD from Flux Focus again. Um, today I'm playing around with uh, making a couple of boards using uh, the GHI uh, embedded master module. This is a CPU module that um, has support for uh, running uh, .NET Micro framework. So this is uh, Microsoft uh, C Sharp uh, code and it's uh, the Microsoft.NET Micro CLR that gets loaded onto this and um, then you can upload your applications uh, to the chip um, using a simple uploader and it'll uh, execute your programs from Flash. Um, these ones I bought from Salig but uh, you can buy them directly from GHI if you want to. I'm pretty sure they're the same price anyway so um, Salig has some other bits and pieces so I thought well for the cost of the freight it's going to cost me I'll get a couple of other bits and pieces in the package as well. Um, I've done this for work before um, but uh, I'm going to make uh, th three um, just uh, test rig boards for myself. Uh, so that's the uh, PCB module goes in the middle. I've made it big, I spread it out just so it was uh, a lot quicker and easier for me to get the circuit boards done quickly at the time. So that's why the board's so big, it doesn't need to be that big. Um, uh, just a couple of things I might point out on the board. Uh, an 8-way dip switch, um, there's a USB to RS-232 converter up here, but using uh, a, a pin header configuration selection you can um, change that uh, from USB uh, just a straight um, RS-232 serial uh, if you want to just connect it straight into your computer if you happen to have a COM port on the back of your computer uh, like I do and um, there's also uh, a port here for RS-485 and uh, there's some things on this board that I put on here for, for purposes for work which I probably won't use um, like there's some stuff up here which is kind of some proprietary stuff that I use at work um, and uh, SD card slot uh, I just put uh, some a room uh, some room on here and a connector for uh, a relay um, this area here is for an mp3 decoder uh, ethernet and the the fire is built in well it's on board rather and I believe that's part of the microcontroller uh, which is a uh, NXP LPC 2478 uh, and a couple of regulators down the bottom um, there's a USB peripheral so uh, if this is being treated as a device there's also another port over here uh, where I'm going to put a whoops here uh, that I'm going to put a uh, a vertical standing up um, socket and that'll be USB host. Uh, I've, I've got some room over here for CAN bus but I'm not sure that I'll uh, populate that at the moment. Um, and there's a battery there for uh, battery backup of real-time clock. Um, and there's some other small uh, pin headers. I think one of these connectors I intended to use for um, uh, yeah, up here. Uh, there's just some transistor and resistor um, footprints there that I was going to use for, for one wire and there's a socket there um, but you don't have to use it for one wire that could just be a transistor output uh, and over here I think I had uh, just some other um, yeah there's another transistor output over here and I th yeah that's uh, I guess that's about it and there's some uh, random LEDs indicator uh, indicators on board there's also some switches on here um, part of the GHI embedded master is, uh, well these particular modules anyway, um, there's a connector here to connect to either a uh, TFT LCD display or um, a VGA uh, converter to uh, connect to a monitor.
So these are almost finished and this is uh, the VGA interface to the embedded master that I was going to put on each of the boards and that's uh, one that I've uh, done previously and uh, so I'm going to make uh, three more uh, for these boards. four of these VGA converters and I believe that one there was uh, the original that I was working off and um, that's the 40 way ribbon that they're going to connect to to the test rig there'll be a bit of a twist in the cable that's fine and, uh, and that'll be mounted mounted on top there or if you really want to, you can leave it uh, leave it off the board. On the board, I've got an option for USB to serial into the GHI Embedded Master, uh, and there's a jumper heading here that you can also, if you want to, use just straight uh, RS-232. So, I'm, for the three boards, I'm going to make up uh, three DB9 cables into the connector. So all three boards are pretty much finished now, there's still a couple of things that I have to do to them but I can sort that out along the way from here on. I've powered all three up and no smoke has come out. I've programmed some test code into one of them and that's been operating correctly. Uh, quick tour around the board one more time, RS-232 or USB to serial via jumper header, um, menu navigation buttons, SD card, one wire bus, relay, uh, single transistor output, MP3 on a VS1002, Ethernet, USB peripheral, regulators 3 and 5 volts, embedded master module, uh, LEDs and an option header, real time clock battery, uh, USB host, a one wire output, 8 way dip switch and an RS-485. Thanks for watching this assembly video, it's been epic for me as well. Cheers. <laughs>